There was one foolproof method to tell when you were already dead. Yeah. He carried an axe and he used it in his cabin in the Did woods hear me grab the to kill his here. victims and dismember them. And do you know who the That's final victim it. was? You wanna, get, you wanna get a bunker? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, hey, I'm just stuck. Oh, I don't know. We'll get to you the way. You were telling him to move when the rock was going. Oh, you just got pushed. Thanks. Do you know what a griot is, Hatter? Um. I don't know. It's a term referred to ancient African storytellers who were dedicated to passing on the oral tradition of the time. You want me to tell you a story, Mad Hatter? I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Oh, come on. Hey, yeah, go ahead. It's a story about the best Project Winter player of all time. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hold on, I need to get some... I need some healing. You don't mind, do you, Hatter? Yes, Find anything good, Hatter? Yes. You wanna hear that story? Sure. I, also, I found another bunker up here too, man. He would travel from game to game, and no matter who he met, the greatest of foes, the most outnumbered of odds, he wouldn't lose. He would always cease. He was always able to kill his enemy, that he would never let anyone ever beat him. Oh, okay. It was a source of great pride for him, the fact that he'd never lost a battle before. Whenever he was a traitor, he was the most feared person ever. And if you were in a game with him, it was already over before it had started. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can know him every single time you meet him. There's another bunker over here. Alright. Yeah. Because there's one foolproof method to know. There's the foolproof way of knowing. Oh, of course. Well, oh, someone got exiled. Did I tell you what a griot was, Pimpatter? Yes, yes you did. Oh, another bunker. How coincidental. Let's open this one. Maybe we can get some fire in here. Oh, that's a bad moment to have this happen. Yeah. Huh? Are you at near this bunker? Go away, go away, go away. Don't come to this bunker. There's a bear outside. There is one foolproof method to tell when you were already dead. He yeah. carried an axe that would strike down his victims. It was a woodcutter's axe. Uh huh. And he used it in his cabin in the Did woods hear me grab the to kill right his here. victims and dismember them slowly. Oh, oh. That's... And do you know who the final victim was? <laughs> it was you. And with a great vengeance, he struck down his victims! Never giving them a chance to rebel, to fight back. Any chance of semblance of victory was stripped away as he ate their limbs. I've been trying to, I'm um, still, I'm with someone alone, I'm probably gonna try to now. Uh, I think I'm gonna miss you. Roger, stop! Thank you, finally. Oh, let him hey die, please. Oh, it's Griot. Griot, yeah, where the hell did you Griot's come from? What do you mean? I'm traitor. not a traitor, I'm not a traitor? Whoa! Where'd you hear that from? This? I'm, I'm not a traitor, what are you guys talking about? Roger's a scout. Roger's definitely not a scout. Are you guys okay scout. here? Griot? I don't know. I just yeah, came up I'm here. Okay, Wait, yeah, come with like, me across the they bridge. Keep reviving you gonna come with me, or are you gonna go? That, you the 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 sure. Hey, Alice, do you know what a griot is? No. He's, just say, yeah. he's a person who tells stories, usually in South Africa, point, I don't trust dedicated oh. to the continuation of oral tradition. Now he's dead. Okay. Would you like to hear a story, Aos? Yes. This story is about the best Project Winner player of all time. And so this man, he was the best player, and people feared him. If you were in a game with him and he was a traitor, 
you'd already lost before the game had even started. You uh -huh. understand what I'm saying? Yep. Well, actually, I forgot his name. I played with him one time. One time only. Guys, this way, I, have it tagged. But a guy I forgot his name, right but now, there is one surefire way to always tell you've met him. Uh-huh. Let's go back to Gavin. Guys, guys, XL Fairman. Hey, still. Edgar, 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 guess what? Hey, still. There's somebody okay, in the back hey, stall. Guys, listen. I've been trying to tell you this. There's no one in there. Let's find out. Oh. oh. It's a dead person. Follow me, guys. Let's get a bunker. Follow me. Yeah, so he was he was the best player of all time. Widely widely recognized this way, too. He, he knew all the ins and outs. I don't remember his name. It was short and sweet, though. It was something you would... If you saw it, you'd recognize it. But, of course, there was always one way to tell. And if you saw this, this tell, you would know for sure that it was him. You would always know it was him. Because he would always carry the woodsman axe. He used this axe to cut wood where he's from. That was his trade. And you always knew you were about to die when you met the man with the axe. And one day, he had he met someone. And he took them into his house. And he drew his axe. And he struck them down with the theory of God! <laughs> Drug their body behind the bunker. And no one ever saw them again. And don't worry, Aos. That was the last man I killed. I'll tell your story to the next one. <laughs> There's just one left. Don't kill the last one, okay? Let me kill him. It's only very important enough to talk to him about. Hey, Briniest. Dude, he was the hacker, though. Do you know what a Gria is? What? Do you know what my name is? The Griot? Do you know what that means? What does it mean? It's an African storyteller. Passing on oral traditions by word of, word of mouth. We talked about your stories earlier. You're, you're, you're kind of scary. You guys are scary. Do you know what a Griot does, Rinius? They kill people like me. Yeah, you both They were famous for their sacrifices, Rinius. But let me tell you something. Yeah, this is a story of a man who trusted a Griot one time. And he brought him into a bunker, and he took his woodsman axe, and he stuck it in the back of his skull. And he took his body, and he took his body, and he dragged it out back. And no one ever spoke of him again. But don't worry, Grinny. But don't worry. As soon as I kill you, I'll tell the next man your story. Don't, don't cry, Grinny. I'll just have to kill you with my axe, it's very important. I'll tell the next man your story.